Alrighty guys, so we have the SSR 140 top end rebuild today. We're going to start by taking apart and taking off the exhaust pipe, carburetor, oil lines for the oil cooler, and the cam bolt or cam bolt cover. So we'll take that all off. We can probably leave the manifold itself on the head. I don't think there's anything wrong. I think it'll clear. Um, we'll disconnect the fuel line, obviously. We can leave the spark plug in the head. Then we got to go over to the other side of the engine, take apart, uh, take off the stator cover, and so we can see the flywheel, so we can get this thing at top dead center, and we'll mark everything, and we can start disassembling the top end. So let's get the exhaust off, carb off, and oil lines off, and we'll go from there. Carb off, exhaust off, skid plate off. Skid plate has bolt here and here on each side and then into the foot peg with the other two. They're 12 millimeter, I guess mine were, and then 10s in the front. Exhaust had 10 millimeter nuts on it. It slid out of the silencer, so I had to take just the header pipe off. You guys can see the parts are over here. Next, we're gonna take the oil lines off the other side and then we can take the cam cover off and then we're gonna take this uh, stator cover off. I may need to take my, kicks, my shifter off this is just so we can get everything in time. I'll show you guys how the timing procedure works. And then we can uh, take the valve adjusting caps off, remove the head, and then we might have to, we'll see if we can do the valve guide seals uh, easily today. So you can see there's a bolt here holding the head, and then these four on top, and then the head will come off. This is holding the cylinder on down here. And yeah, so let's get this thing taken apart, and we'll see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so the way timing works on these and most of the Chinese bikes, you got an F and a T mark on your flywheel. The T mark is going to line up with that little notch in the case there. And then you're going to have the dot on the cam gear line up with the notch in the head. And that's how you know you're going to be at top dead center compression. Because the timing mark will come back up, but then you're going to be 180 degrees off. So I did mark my chain and the cam sprocket. That way I can put the chain back on the right location and I don't have to do any guesswork. It makes the job easier putting it back together. So next we're going to have to do is take the valve adjustment caps off and take the four head, head nuts off. Uh, I think there's a copper washer on one of the locations, guys. So be very mindful which one that comes off of. I can't remember offhand. Obviously trying to damage this gasket. You probably don't have that in the kit. At least I didn't have this gasket. so. Have to take this here 10 millimeter out, just take a wrench and crack that loose. This here is just a guide in there. The chain doesn't really have that much tension on it, which kind of scares me, but we will see how it goes. Uh, maybe with fresh gaskets and everything, it might pull everything out a little ways. Other than that, 
we got everything kind of marked. We're gonna start taking it apart and we'll see how it goes. We got the head nuts off. The copper washer is gonna be on the lower right side of the bike when you're sitting on it. We're gonna leave the valve adjusting caps on until we get the head off, we can take them off later. One more cam bolt, these are nine millimeters, they're an odd size, it's a nine millimeter head. So we're gonna take the last one out, just have my impact. I marked the chain and sprocket so we can put it back exactly. We got top dead center. I'm gonna grab a 90 degree pitch. And we're gonna do this and pull that off and there she be. You just gotta kinda pull the, yep, just like that. Okay, good, I got it. You got it? Yep. I want you to start pulling the head, start sliding the head off. Mm -hmm. Should come off. Just wiggle it. Yep, keep wiggling. It's on doubles, just keep wiggling. Yep, keep wiggling. Keep wiggling. Wiggle and pull. There, okay, easy. She got her? Yep. Yep. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Got her. It's not that quality. That's pretty nice. Oh, come on. I'm gonna push the wrist pin out with the, this pick. It should it should slide actually. Push it towards me. Yep. Keep pushing. Yep. Keep pushing. Got it. See, look at it. Look at there's no oil. I mean, there's barely any oil rings left. Yeah. Valve guy seal might even be fine. They're probably fucked too. But there ain't much foil rings left. Yeah. Rod, crank feels good.